brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. Nice shirt, bro. Thanks, Broski. You too. We're brothers. They do this every single time. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ, and I hope you guys enjoyed that cheesy intro, but to get serious now, I have a couple things I want to talk about in this video. First one is that you can see me and my brother are wearing the Candido Training shirts, and if you check the description, there's a link to it. It's now available for purchase, and what I'll do is I'm going to have an entirely separate video on the shirt specifically, and talking about you know, where I want to take Candido Training, what the goal is, you know, because a lot of things have happened with the channel and I really haven't had a video just talking about it just talking about the assessment you know the plan of everything but anyways I'll cover that later as I said right now what I want to talk about is this workout I'm working out with my buddy actually Billy Luther he's a friend from college and he has a channel I'll link that in the description as well and his buddy Jeff Black so we're both working out and obviously with my brother Joe Candido and so we're all training together and it was pretty interesting training together because I'm used to training by myself but it was really good and especially because we're pretty much all doing the same thing since Billy and Jeff are both on my six week program even though they are on different days. Billy is in the third week, I believe he's on the first heavy leg session of the third week so he's doing three sets of six and then Jeff was on the second heavy leg day of the third week so he was just doing one peak set of six. Whereas what I was doing is I was on the first day of the program and what I did is I was planning on doing 405 for four sets of six, but I really didn't know exactly what my projected max should be. So since I didn't know how this would work out, I haven't done a workout, a full workout, doing these deep Olympic squats without a belt because as I said, I'm doing the whole training cycle without a belt. So I haven't done it before, so I didn't really know what to expect. So what you'll see is on this set, I actually thought it was harder than it really was now looking back on film. It actually looks pretty easy. Well, not easy, but I'd say it's just not that hard. And I thought it was just really hard. So what I did is I actually lowered the weight after this set and just did 390 pounds. So I think what I did is I changed my projected max from 505 to 485, if I remember correctly. Anyways, what I'm doing here is I was talking to Billy and I'm trying to get him to have slightly better form because if you see when he squats, he rounds over not just his lower back but his upper back a bit and it stays rounded once he comes up. So you see what I'm showing him to do is to do overhead squats with a narrow grip, not with a wider grip because a narrow grip forces you to stay as upright as possible, forces your upper back to stay tight even more so than a standard snatch grip overhead squat and it also forces him to externally rotate his hips which he was having trouble with. Now I want to make it clear that I have edited a lot of these sets, so you'll only see maybe on that set, for example, you see two reps, when I believe my brother did six reps on it, and same with Billy here. Also, I want you to note how hard everyone is working. I think this is a really good example, this video, because it just shows you the type of you know, intensity that really takes to keep getting stronger. Because Billy, for example, he competes as a 165 pound lifter, and he hasn't moved up weight classes in a long, I mean, he's always been a 165 pound lifter, and his total has been just shooting up, staying in that same weight class, which is, as most people know, that's extremely difficult to do, to make really rapid progress without gaining body weight but that's how he does it he just is on this program and he works just very hard because it really it doesn't matter what program you're on if you're not focused if you don't have that intensity in the actual sessions then it just doesn't matter it doesn't mean anything now for deadlifts what I did is I used a projected max of 550 pounds and that's because of course I am doing this entire cycle as I said beltless on both squats and deadlifts so 550, I feel like that's probably a pretty good number because you know, 585 was my competition max and that was obviously with a belt. So this actually felt really good, but the one thing that you'll notice in this video is that the plates were moving around a lot and you'll see it in the later sets where they're moving around so much that I had to move my feet and the plates looked like they're about to pretty much fall off the barbell. Overall in this workout, I was surprised at how easy everything did feel or how easy really it looked on video because as I said for the squats it felt harder than it really looked and the deadlifts I would say the same thing 
where it felt actually I don't know it felt pretty easy but then looking on video it just looked very very easy as you see I don't have any form breakdown whatsoever and it's just really an exciting thing to be able to just build that base up and just not worry too much about hitting PRs every single time since I am going beltless I'm just worrying about building muscle building strength so then later on I can worry about that Good. Come on. Good, good. You go for one more? Yeah, here I think, watch this set. Look at the, the weights on the right side or on our right side, my left side. You'll see, yeah, you see here on this last set, see how the weights are just shifting off the barbell, which, you know, isn't a major problem because I'm not lifting that much weight. And you see here I did sumo deadlifts. And I did these for three sets of eight to 12 as an optional accessory exercise. As I said, I really wanna build that up and just see where my strength's at in that movement. It feels really good so far, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, that's it guys. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. Peace.